All you can do is otherwise it might be done so that's why you have to adjust the heat and beautiful so this is the orange but you're also getting the flavor hello family welcome to another beautiful edition of Pani's kitchen in today's edition I'm going to be making Nigerian buns again we are going to be making Nigerian buns so the ingredients involved and the quantity of buns that I'm aiming at I'm going to need two cups of all-purpose flour so I'm going to filter it before using it I'm going to need a quarter teaspoon of salt that's your regular kitchen salt and I'm going to need either you use half teaspoon of nutmeg or you use half of regular nutmeg that's the actual nut okay and you're going to need one and a half teaspoon of baking powder you will need a quarter cup of sugar that's granulated sugar you're going to need a quarter cup and you're going to need two eggs if you have medium eggs you can use up to three so these are large eggs and you will need two tablespoons of melted butter so i'm going to melt this butter before using it you will need a quarter cup of milk that's regular drinking milk okay if you are using powdered milk use te two teaspoon of powdered milk then you mix it with uh, a quarter cup of water and that will still give you the uh the taste of using this other milk then you're going i'm going to use orange in place of um water so i'm using this orange so what i'm going to do I'm going to cut up this orange and squeeze it out so I'll get at least a quarter cup of orange juice from this fresh orange that's what I'm going to add to the buns and I'm also going to use half teaspoon of vanilla extract okay again I'm going to be adding half teaspoon of vanilla extract so you will need of course a good oil for frying your buns so make sure you have oil and again the quantity of oil you're going to use depends on the shape and size of your pot that's your frying pot or frying pan so make sure you use a deep pot or deep frying pan to fry these buns okay okay so i am going to filter my flour okay so i'm adding the sugar baking powder salt then i'm going to grate this nutmeg directly into this okay so you can see i'm going to just quickly whisk it okay that's done so on the flour over here mix the uh, all the dry ingredients so make sure they're thoroughly mixed okay out all the juice as you can see i think i have enough of what i'm going to use for this so over here i have the vanilla extract i'm going to add half teaspoon of this vanilla extract i'm adding it into the beaten egg okay and i'm also going to add the quarter cup of um milk so i'm also going to add the quarter cup of the squeeze freshly squeeze orange juice okay so we have a quarter i'm adding it right there so I'm going to mix all of these liquid ingredients together except the butter so why I'm not adding the butter here is because it's still warm I don't want it to mess with the egg so that's why I melted butter directly into the mixed flour and the rest of them so as you can see what I'm doing okay so it's not evenly mixed but what i'm going to do now is going to help it to evenly mix okay all right so i just added this all this in there 
So I'm going to mix the batter until it's even, okay? Okay, so as you can see the batter consistency. When you do this, make sure it's a kind of drawing. That's the consistency of buns. If it's not drawing, then it's not too good, okay? And if you make it too thick, it will look like you are making chin chin. If you make it too watery, it looks like you're making puff, okay? So this is the perfect consistency of buns you need. Okay, so you can let this stand for five minutes, just five minutes before you start frying. So within that five minutes, you prepare your frying oil, okay? All right. Okay, so my oil is warmed enough. Again, I like to use my bare hands to drop these buns. It depends on, some people like to use ice cream scooper. But for me, I just like using my bare hands. All you can do is to dip your fingers in water in between drop it, dropping the buns. And that's gonna help you to drop it faster because you know this dough is kind of sticky so that's why you're gonna dip your fingers in between with water some people use oil so it just depends on your preference okay and turn your heat to medium low okay so you're gonna be a kind of manipulating the heat on your burns otherwise it might be done browning on the outside then the inside will be very very fresh so that doesn't look good so that's why you have to adjust the heat in between so that you can get these buns done and brown the way it should be the buns is doing so well okay i love the brown color some people fry buns and it cracks okay so i think the cracking is mainly based on the quantity of egg and butter you add to it that makes it to crack but if you add just minimal enough of what you need it's not going to crack okay so for me as a health watcher i don't like packing up all those things in one meal so that's why i add i add just about what you need okay as you can see the buns looks so good Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's about the type of brown that I want. So at this time, these buns are totally done. Okay, guys, so, so this is the end product of our buns. As you can see, this is well brown and beautiful. So this is how I actually want my buns to look like. And this is perfect. So look, let's look at the inside to see how good it is in the inside. Oh wow, so beautiful. Again, you can see the yellowish color of the vanilla and orange that I added to this. So this is the beauty of it. Not, you're not only getting the vitamin C from the orange, but you're also getting the flavor and the coloring. Again, thank you guys for watching another beautiful edition of Annie's Kitchen and Well-Being. I love you guys. See you all later. Bye.